If you're looking to save time, keep your branding consistent, and create professional YouTube thumbnails without needing any design skills, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Kittle to create stunning thumbnails in just a few minutes, even if you're not a designer. We'll start by picking a ready-made YouTube thumbnail template that'll walk you through how to customize the colors, swap in your own headshots, adjust the text, and fine tune the design to match your brand. And by the end of the video, you'll have a polished thumbnail that not only looks professional, but also helps your videos grab attention and get more clicks, all without spending hours in complicated design software. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel, helps me bring you more resources, and it keeps you up to date with all the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So to get started creating a YouTube thumbnail in Kittle, head over to the dashboard, which is what we're looking at right now, and click on templates in the left-hand menu. This is where all of Kittle's pre-made designs live, and it's a great place to find inspiration or jump right into a ready-to-edit layout. And to find a layout, in the search bar at the top, let's type in a keyword of what we're looking for. And for this example, it's gonna be YouTube thumbnails. And then when you enter that in, you'll instantly get a curated list of templates designed specifically for YouTube content. Now, here's where it gets fun. Kittle offers both individual thumbnail templates and template bundles. Bundles are essentially useful if you're creating a series of videos and wanna keep your branding consistent across multiple thumbnails. You can easily spot a bundle by the number badge in the corner of the preview. It shows how many designs are included in that set. And when you find a bundle that you like, simply click on the preview to open it. And once selected, the bundle loads inside Kittle's visual editor where you'll see all the thumbnail variations included in that set. And from here, you could choose any of the designs to customize with your own text, colors, and images, all while keeping that pro look and feel. It's super intuitive and a huge time saver if you're regularly creating content for YouTube. Okay, now that we've selected our template bundle, let's customize the thumbnails to match your brand or your channel's style. And one of the fastest ways to do this is by switching out the color palette. So over on the right-hand side of the editor, you'll see a button that says Browse Color Palettes. Click that and you'll get access to a wide range of professionally curated color themes. And here's the cool part. If you hover over any of the palettes with your mouse, you'll see a live preview of how all of your thumbnails will look with that color scheme. It instantly updates everything at once, giving you a quick way to experiment with different vibes until you find one that fits. And if you want more control, you could always customize each color in the palette manually there. Just click on the color palette section and you'll see the list of colors used in the design. And from there, you could swap out any individual color with something that better matches your brand. This is perfect if you already have a brand kit or a specific look that you're going for. But if you wanna experiment with different colors, just keep hovering your mouse over the different color palettes until you find one that works for you. And for this example, I decided to go with the ocean blue palette. It gave the thumbnails a clean, modern look that really makes the text and visuals pop on the screen. And again, it applied instantly across all nine thumbnails in the bundle, saving me a ton of time compared to editing each one individually. Okay, next, let's add a personal touch to the thumbnail by uploading a headshot. This step is optional, but if you want to include yourself in the design, which I recommend doing for personal branding and building recognition, it's super easy to do here in Kittle. So just make sure you've got a decent photo of yourself. It doesn't need to be studio quality. In fact, I'm gonna be using a photo that I took on my iPhone. And then to upload your image, click the uploads icon in the left toolbar. This opens your media library where you could access images you've already uploaded or upload your own, which is what we wanna do. So click the upload button at the top and then select your image file. Kittle supports common formats like PNG, JPEG, SVG, and even WebP. And then once your image is uploaded, it'll show up in your uploads panel as well as on your canvas. And then you can actually click on that image and drag and drop it to reposition it within the canvas to start working on it. And speaking of that, we're gonna clean it up by removing the background. So with the image selected, head over to the tools section on the right-hand side of the screen and click the remove background button. 
and Kittle gets to work. Within seconds, your background is gone and you've got a clean cutout of yourself that fits seamlessly into your thumbnail designs. And as you can see, my image went from a casual iPhone photo with a Christmas tree in the background to a polished, isolated headshot, perfect for grabbing attention on YouTube. Okay, once you've removed the background from your image, it's time to drop it into one of the thumbnails. And for this first example, I'm gonna add my headshot to thumbnail number five. However, you're probably noticing that there is already an image of another guy on the thumbnail. But you can simply select that image and delete it, and that completely removes it. And then the thumbnail is ready for my headshot. And all you need to do is click and drag the headshot onto any thumbnail that you wanna customize. And then after placing the photo in the canvas, you can resize and even reposition it by dragging the corners and moving it around to get that perfect framing. Try to keep the face large and visible. It helps the thumbnail stand out on YouTube. Then if you wanna zoom in for more precise editing, here's a quick tip. Click on the name of the thumbnail in the top left corner of the canvas where it says something like thumbnail five. That selects the entire artboard. And once selected, you can go to the zoom drop down in the bottom toolbar by clicking on it. And then from that menu, choose fit to artboard and you'll get a much closer view of what you're working on. This makes it a lot easier to fine tune your layout, especially if you're aligning text and images or tweaking the overall balance of the design. Okay, now that the headshot is in place, let's clean it up a bit and make it pop off that background. Just click the image again to select it and you'll see the editing panel appear on the right hand side of the screen. Then from here, you can make all sorts of adjustments to fine tune the look of your photo. So like I said, I wanna add a shadow to this headshot. So within the sidebar menu there, click the shadow section. There should be a little plus icon and that will open the shadow settings. And here you can adjust the color, opacity, blur, angle and distance of the shadow until it looks just right. I went with the soft shadow to help separate my image from the background without making it too harsh. Next, under the same panel, open the photo filter section. And this is where you can tweak the brightness, contrast, saturation, and more. These controls are great for correcting lighting or enhancing the overall tone of your image. Even small tweaks can make a big difference especially when your face is front and center on the thumbnail. Also, keep these two settings open. If you close the photo filter and the shadow settings, that will remove those effects from the image, just FYI. Next, let's shift our focus to the text. So if you wanna change what the thumbnail says, simply click on the text that you wanna edit and start typing. I updated mine from vloggers to YouTube since it better reflects the audience for this video. And you can also adjust the font size using the slider or just type in the custom size manually there in the right hand side of the screen. And this will increase or decrease the size of the text. And everything is editable from the font, the size, color, even the angle. So you can really make this your own. Then one of the awesome things about working with a bundle and Kittle is that you can mix and match elements from different templates. So if you see a graphic that you like in another layout, you can easily bring it into the one that you're working on. In this example, I wanted to reuse an image of a camera from one of the other thumbnails. So I'm gonna scroll up a bit and then select that image of the camera and then copy it. I'm on my Mac, so I'm pressing Command C. If you're using a PC, it's Control C, but either way, that will copy this image and then we'll scroll back down and paste it into the thumbnail that I was just working on. So we'll select that thumbnail and then we'll paste the image Again, I'm pressing Command V to paste it. However, when I do, the camera is actually layered behind my headshot, which made the camera invisible. Well, that's where the layers panel comes in. So if you look on the left-hand toolbar, find the layers icon and click it. This opens a full list of every object in your design organized by layer. And you can see exactly what's stacked where. And from there, I found the pasted camera image in the list. It was labeled camera. And then I just drag the layer above my headshot layer in the list. And when you do, you'll see that the camera is now on top of everything else exactly where I want it. Then once the layer was on top, you can click it again to select it and then drag it into position. I ended up moving it down to the bottom left corner of the template to balance out the composition and visually support the theme of the thumbnail. 
Okay, next, if you wanna customize another template within the same bundle, here's how to jump between them quickly. Start by zooming out so you could see the full set of thumbnails at once. And you can do that by clicking on the zoom feature in that toolbar and then select fit to content. And this will zoom out and allow you to view all of the thumbnails within the bundle. Then select the thumbnail you wanna work on. In my case, I selected the template number seven. This is the one with the phone and the battery savings hacks on it. And then once the template is selected, go ahead and zoom in again. I like using the fit to artboard option to fill the screen with just that design so I could focus on the details. Next, I'm gonna switch out the battery graphic that's inside the phone screen. So we'll click on the battery element and that selects it and then just hit delete on your keyboard and that removes it. Then I'm gonna open the uploads panel and grab another headshot that I've previously uploaded and I've already removed the background from. And then whenever I drag and drop it on the canvas this time, it's super small, so let's resize it. Again, you could just pull the edges of the image to resize it to your liking. And I wanna make it fit into that phone frame, trying to create the illusion that I'm actually inside the phone screen. There we go, then it looks pretty good, but let's crop it a little to really clean it up and make it feel like it belongs in that space. So to clean this up and make the image fit perfectly inside the phone screen, we're gonna crop it. So to do that, right click on the image and then a menu will pop up with a variety of editing options. And the one that I want is crop. So we'll select that. And then once the crop handles appear, you can drag the edges of the image to resize it exactly how you want. Again, in my case, I trimmed it so that the headshot fills the phone screen without spilling over the edges. And then whenever you're happy with how it looks, just click done. Then you'll probably notice that part of my headshot is still sitting on top of the finger that's holding the phone, which breaks the illusion a bit. So to fix that, I used Kittle's erase tool to carefully erase just that part of the image that overlaps the finger. So go ahead and click the erase tool in the toolbar at the top of the screen. And then I'm just eyeballing it here, but I'm just gonna erase the part of the phone that kind of sits over the image. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it really helps the headshot look like it's inside the phone screen rather than floating in front of it. All right, then once you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and click done to save those changes. Then remember all of this text and font is editable. Simply click on the text boxes and just type what you wanted to say. I'm gonna replace battery saving with mobile app to match my new topic. And again, you can customize any of this text this way. Just click on it and start making your edits. Then I'll quickly adjust the headshot as well. Again, I'm clicking on it to open the edit panel on the right. And within the photo filter section, I'm just gonna slightly increase the brightness and contrast to help the image stand out and feel more integrated with the rest of the design. Okay, next let's quickly walk through how to add a new headshot image to the template again. So just a quick review, start by going to the uploads tab in the left hand panel and select the photo you wanna use. You can either upload one or use one that you have already uploaded. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna click on it and that will add the image to the canvas. And then I'm gonna click on it to rearrange it and make it easier to work with. And then from here, let's remove the background and this automatically cuts out the background from the image. Looks pretty good. And then once the background is removed, let's drag and drop the headshot into the new template. Then remember, you can resize the image by dragging the corner handles until it fits nicely within the design. You can also reposition it however you'd like to balance out the layout. Again, this is a quick and easy way to personalize your thumbnail while keeping everything visually consistent. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna make any new edits here, but hopefully you're starting to see how these YouTube thumbnail bundles can save you a ton of time and money when it comes to designing professional looking thumbnails for your YouTube channel. All right, once you're done designing, the last thing to do is to export these artboards so that you could use the images on your channel. So to export them in the upper right corner of the screen, click the export button. This opens up the export panel. From here, you could choose to export all of the artboards or just one. You'll see that by default, all of the artboards are selected to export at once. Opening the artboards dropdown will show you all of the artboards in your project, and you'll see that they are all selected to be exported. However, if you wanna export just one artboard at a time, simply deselect all the artboards by unchecking that box, then scroll to the thumbnail of the template that you wanna export and select it, 
And then next, make sure your file type is set to PNG for a high quality image, and then leave the resolution at 72 DPI unless you need something different. And then once that's all set, click the export button and your thumbnail will download to your computer, ready to use in your YouTube video. And don't worry, your templates are all still fully editable. You can come back anytime and make updates or download additional thumbnails as needed. And that wraps up this tutorial. As you've seen, Kittle makes it incredibly easy to customize professional quality YouTube thumbnails, even if you're not a designer. And with the drag and drop tools, background removal, photo filters, and easy export options, you can create eye-catching visuals in minutes. And if you're ready to take things to the next level, consider upgrading to a pro plan starting at just $10 per month. You'll unlock powerful features like high-res exports, advanced editing tools, and commercial licensing, perfect if you're building a brand or growing a channel. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.